Mobile Loaves and Fishes is an organization I think was started in Austin that disseminates food to people in need um, based more or less on, on food trucks. And uh, uh, First Church has one truck that's housed here that's shared across several churches and there's a kitchen downstairs. And um, I first got involved in Mobile Loaves and Fishes, or MLF, uh, probably about five or six years ago um, when my wife and I, Biz, came kind of wandering into the church and uh, wandered into the honeymooners class and uh, got involved in that. And it seemed like it was a very um, approachable, easy way to get involved in some kind of a outreach program. Um, and the honeymooners class sponsors one run or one trip per month, the first Tuesday of the month, and there's a group of people that make all the sandwiches and the food, and then a group of people that take it out, and um, somehow stumbled into being kind of one of the go-to people for taking it out, and it has been a great experience. Um, it has been, uh, it, it's, it's opened up a lot of uh, insight for me, uh, and it's kind of, it, it's, it's shown uh, an opportunity, I guess, for giving um, both in time and handing somebody a sandwich. Uh, in some cases, it's been we're handing somebody their lunch for the next day as they're going to work on a construction site. And in other cases, we're handing some kids their dinner and some clothes that night. Um, and it's just been a really great experience. Um, and it's been, uh, over the years as I've been doing it, it's kind of come to be something that I look forward to on every month. and something that's starting to, I work hard to try to roll it into my schedule, you know, and with kids now and, and other schedule conflicts, it, it's, it's hard, but it's interesting to try to make that a priority. Um, and it's been really rewarding to do it. When I, and I'm not old by any means, but when I was younger doing things kind of in my late 20s, I really came to realize or, or a couple, you know, events when I was out on a run where I really related, I, I found that the person that I was handing the, asking if you want peanut butter and jelly or meat and cheese, uh, I had a lot more in common with that person than I had not in common. And uh, you really see the humanity in people uh, when you're really engaging them. Uh, so I, I don't know if I had any misconceptions or anything that was kind of changed, but it does put a lot of context to things when you see people albeit only once a month, but you see them for a series of years and you see the same people uh, and it, it, it puts uh, uh, some humanity into what we were doing, I think. In, in the spirit of full disclosure, uh, I was not on either of the runs where one, they could not find the truck and ended up taking uh, somebody's Camry uh, or the time that they lost the keys in the grass in the middle of the run and had to you know, set up transects and search for them. I, but in the spirit of full disclosure, I was on the run and driving when we accidentally left someone at a gas station. Uh, but we made our way back, and that's the great thing about driving that truck is they kind of just, the, the seas part when you're coming down the road. People just kind of give you some, some, uh, some space. So uh, um, there have been some great, great kind of fellowship, great uh, memories uh, from, from the runs as well, which has really been fun. Uh, and it's been interesting to see as I was younger, when I didn't have kids, I really related to the people, the, the kind of the working class people that we were uh, helping. And now as I have younger kids, really helping the kids that are really in need is, uh, is really rewarding. It's, it's really fun. I, I love this congregation. I love the church. Uh, uh, and it's really my wife and I and now our kids have really found a home here. Um, and I think a lot of that is rooted in uh, the giving nature of the people here and the sense of community and it's not uh, it, it's a lot about outreach um, and and you can do that in any way in of a thousand ways and if, if, if you're having a hard time there's usually someone that will help push you along uh, to find to find some kind of an outlet but that sense of community has been something that's been very rewarding and uh, and, and, and growing with people and that has been has been a great experience